if you want to open up extension list files in Windows just download this file which I provide and follow the instructions in the readme that's it that's all you have to do uh, the rest of this video is just going to be a demonstration of how everything works so once you download this file you just open it up extract the contents wherever you want for instance the desktop and you'll notice two files you have a batch file and you have a readme readme explains everything that you need to know about how the batch file works it's really straightforward um, right now I have an extension this file right here and I have it set to open in Chrome so you can see I just opened it up really easy uh, if I wanna open it up in notepad all I have to do is run this batch file as administrator and choose yes and now uh, every file that has no extension will open up in notepad really simple if I want to use um, notepad plus plus I just have to rename the batch file to notepad plus plus and then run it as administrator and every extension of this file is now associated with notepad plus plus if I want to use wordpad I just change the batch file to wordpad right click run it as administrator choose yes and now every extension of this file will open up in wordpad really easy um, I had it as Chrome originally, so if I want to put it back to Chrome, I just type Chrome, run as administrator, and it will open up in Chrome again. So um, just download the file, and if you just want to use Notepad, you literally just uh, run it as it is, or you could type in Notepad if you want, and then run it. And it'll open up a notepad. Um, it's not a harmful file. I'll open it up so you can see exactly what's in it. This is literally all there is. So if you don't want to download the file, you can just pause the video, copy all this stuff, and save it as a batch file and run it. Um, all this fancy stuff right here is just to make it easy to choose your editor by renaming the file so I can actually take all of this out and it'll still work it just won't have the feature where you rename the file to tell it which editor to use by default um, if you have an editor that you'd like to use that is not supported by this batch file it's really easy to set it to that too all you have to do is open the command prompt uh, run it as administrator and change directories to wherever you save this batch file so I have it in users Then you type in the name of the file, which I have it currently named as notepad.bat. And then you send a command line argument to that batch file, specifying the name of the editor you want to use to open up your extensions files. And don't forget to put it in quotation if it has space in it. So if I type that and it finds. Um, an editor name blah blah whatever it will just use that and by default if that's not a valid file that you specify for your command line argu argument it will just go back to notepad and it'll open up notepad 
So it's really simple. This video is way longer than it has to be. It's just for demonstration purposes. Just download the file and run it. And if you don't want to download anything, um, you can just run these two commands. So open up the command prompt as administrator, type that in, and then type this in but after the equals just put the path of the program you want to use right here and type this but don't type two um, percent symbols just type one like that. and that should do it this line right here sets the default icon of your extension list files so I have it set to 2 which is like the default in Windows but you can change it to whatever you want I'm going to show you this is my extension file right here it's just a plain white sheet of paper if I edit the batch file to say 22 instead and then save it and then run it now my extension list files will have this icon that I chose. So you can play around with the icons and see what 24 looks like. Yeah, so you can you can make it whatever you want, but I just like it at two. So I'm gonna put it back to two. It's that simple. Hope you enjoy.